Peter, I think the most important part of Harry's incredibly comprehensive answer is the reminder of what the stakes here, right? National security is at stake. I would add to that trust in American institutions. NBC's Chuck Todd asked Vice President Harris about the DOJ's investigation during an exclusive interview today. I want you to take a listen to this part. How much should President, former President Trump's status as a former president and a potential 2024 candidate, how much should that factor into the decision to charge him? Well, I wouldn't dare tell the Department of Justice what to do. As a former prosecutor, mm -hmm. I will tell you, I have... Uh, my, I, I am not in the business of telling a prosecutor <laughs> what to do with their case because they know best the facts and the evidence um, as applied to the law. And so I'm not going to tell them what to do. Here's the thing, Peter. I think about the title of your forthcoming book, The Divider, and that is applicable through uh, so many lenses in the context of the country of the whole, the division between uh, America's you know, civil population and the people who work in the government. You now have a White House working to restore the image of an independent Justice Department. You can hear that in the vice president's answer there. How does that compare to how Trump, how his inner circle viewed the DOJ? Well, look, for him, division is a political strategy as well as a natural inclination. Uh, it is it, his interest, as he sees it, to divide the country and to feed the polarization that he has been, you know, stoking through this whole controversy over the, the classified documents that he took with him. He is telling his public, he is telling his base that the, the Justice Department is corrupt, the FBI is corrupt, that they are left-wing partisan tools of the, you know, president who defeated him. He doesn't admit that Joe Biden defeated him. And therefore, to trying to discredit the institutions that are coming after him, right? What What is this, uh, this motion for the special master has succeeded in not only delaying the investigation, but also changing the subject. Instead of talking about what he was doing with these documents in the first place, we're talking about what right the judge had or didn't have to, to appoint the special master, who might be the special master, what kind of claims it might be. The question that still remains unanswered is, what was he doing with the documents in the first place? What did he want them for? What was his purpose in keeping them? Not just taking them because, oh, I, I just forgot some and I bought some boxes by mistake. He kept them even after he was asked for them back, even after he was subpoenaed for them back. Why? And he has not been forced to answer that question. And that's, to me, still at the heart of this controversy.